On April 9th, 1669, Aurangzeb issued a decree to his governors, a direct order to destroy Hindu temples and schools in Kashi. This wasn't an isolated attack, it was a planned assault on the heart of Hindu culture. In that same year, one of Hinduism's most sacred temples, Kashi Vishwanath, was targeted. But Aurangzeb's cruelty was far more deliberate. What if I told you that Aurangzeb's plan wasn't just to destroy a temple, but to break the spirit of an entire civilization? He did not demolish the whole temple, no. He specifically ordered the destruction of the shikars and gopurams, the towering symbols of the divine, the very heart and soul of the temple. Aurangzeb even left behind an inscription proudly claiming responsibility for the desecration. This wasn't hidden, it was meant to be seen, meant to humiliate. He ordered three domes to be superimposed on the ruins, declaring it a mosque. But why leave the ruins? Why not build a grand mosque from scratch? Because Aurangzeb's plan was far more sinister. Every day, Hindus were forced to walk by the ruins of their most revered temple, with the three domes standing as a symbol of conquest. This was psychological warfare. The message was clear. You have been humiliated. Your most sacred ground has been defiled. Even Western travelers who visited the site wrote about this calculated insult. It was done to degrade, to break the will of the people. But the Hindus did not break. They never abandoned the site. They never gave up.